Quiet down and listen up. Tony is talking. Tony Katz here. Thanks for watching this episode of Tony is Talking. By now, many of you have heard the story of Tyler Clementi. Tyler Clementi, the freshman at Rutgers University who happened to be gay, was videotaped without his knowledge by his roommate, a man by the name of Darun Ravi. And I don't know if it's Darun, D-H-A-R-U-N or Darren, but I'm going to go with Darun uh, for now. Um, videotaped by Darun Ravi and a few days later went to the George Washington Bridge and jumped to his death. And so I, I bring up this story because one of the things happening in this case is right now they're deciding whether or not to charge Darun Ravi and an accomplice, a woman by the name of Molly Way. Uh, Molly and Darun went to high school together, and Molly was in the room where Darun was videotaping Tyler Clementi and was there when Darun posted the story to the internet, posted the video to the internet. The Middlesex County DA is deciding whether or not to charge Darun Ravi and Molly Way with hate crimes to go along with the invasion of privacy charge. Now, it's important to keep a couple things in context here. No one, no one, no one thinks Darun Ravi is a good guy. Darun Ravi is a scumbag, a first-rate son of a bitch. But anybody who videotapes their roommate, whether they're gay or whether they're, it doesn't matter. If you're a landlord and you videotape your tenants without their permission, you're a scumbag. This goes without saying. There is no other way to look at it and no other possible explanation would suffice. If you videotape people without their permission, you're a scumbag. And certainly in the case of Darun Ravi, he may or may not have had an issue with his roommate being gay. He may or may not have done the videotaping because his roommate was gay. And he may or may not have put the video up online because his roommate was gay. That's why hate crimes is so insidious. Hate crimes tries to take a group of people and turn them into a subset. Somehow, a crime against them is worse than a crime against anybody else. The crime against Erin Andrews, who was videotaped in her hotel room, getting undressed and then getting dressed, that's the same invasion of privacy that happened against Tyler Clementi. And now to say, because Tyler Clementi is gay, that it's a hate crime, that doesn't fly with me. It doesn't take away from the fact that Darun Ravi is a scumbag and that Molly Way had every chance in the world to say, hey, what you're doing is ridiculous. Cut this out. But she stayed there. And because she stayed there, she's just as guilty in the invasion of privacy. Darun Ravi may very well be a scumbag, but he didn't throw Tyler Clementi off a bridge. It's not what happened. I'm not condoning his activity, and I'm sorry that Tyler Clementi decided that this was more than he could take and killed himself. There's a group now, and you can see the videos on YouTube, a man by the name of Dan Savage created a project called It Gets Better, and it's aimed at gay and, and lesbian teenagers to let them know that if they're getting bullied or they're having a hard time, it gets better. I like the idea, I just think that its focus is too narrow. Everybody, listen, it gets better. There are so many of us, regardless of whether you're gay or straight or Christian or Jewish or black or white, who have been in the dark times. Hi, my name's Tony Katz and I'm one of them. It gets better. It only gets better, however, if you wake up the next day. It's the only possible way for it to get better. I'm a believer in that. I'm living proof of that. But I'm not going to sit idly by and get into a conversation of hate crimes. A crime is a crime. We, the United States of America, are a nation of laws, not a nation of subsets and exceptional classes. The death of Tyler Clementi is horrible. It's tragic. It's a sin. And Darun Ravi is a scumbag for videotaping his roommate. But even with this, I don't believe in hate crimes. A crime is a crime. There are no hate crimes. 
it's important to remember that what Darun Ravi did was wrong. And he is a scumbag. But he didn't throw anybody off a bridge. Tyler Clemente threw himself off a bridge based on all accounts. That has to be kept in focus. But trust me when I say this. If you work for it. If you fight for it. If you wake up the next day. It gets better. It really, really does. Media